Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotions with Pastor Sutton on this Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Why do people get so excited about Friday? I mean, why isn't Monday exciting? Monday's the second day of the week, right? Sunday. Nobody gets excited about Sunday unless they're into monster truck pulls or uh, WWF, right? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Really big trucks pulling on really big loads, moving across the mud and running over cars. Sunday. Get your tickets now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, Friday, Friday just has that appeal of being the last day of the work week. Remember when people used to work 40-hour work weeks? You know, they worked Monday through Friday, and then they had the weekend to relax and enjoy. Now we live in this world of 24-7. Remember when everything was closed on Sundays? So really, you, you couldn't do anything other than go to church? Um, yeah. I, the faster our society goes, the less, I think, is, is necessarily good about it. But, you know, it brings great things to us, great successes and great events, but... Anyway, good morning. Welcome on this Friday morning, August 4th, to our, it is August 4th, right? Yeah, to our daily devotions. I'm glad you're here to spend a little time with us in God's Word on this day. Uh, this next sunny, hot, yucky day. We were supposed, I was supposed to get coffee during the hymn and I forgot to do it. <clears throat> Son of a gun. Uh, we were supposed to get storms on Wednesday and they didn't happen yesterday I was up in Harshaw up at Faith and it didn't rain up there but it was hotter than blazes um, and then but a, a rainstorm went through here not a lot just I wasn't here Bonnie said it was enough to knock down the dust um, so we'll have to see what today brings. I don't even know what the forecast is for today. I am just imagining that it is going to be hot and yucky again. Um, um, I've got to do a visit this morning along with getting the bulletins done for <clears throat> St. Paul down here. But then this afternoon, Alexander has his uh, campus visit uh, to uh, uh, Stevens Point. So we've got to be down in Stevens Point this afternoon to find out what they can offer a young man who's preparing to go to college. He's got one year left. He's a senior this year. Just doesn't seem like it should be like that. But Well, let's see who's here with us this morning. Look at that. Leela, your first one on the list this morning. Good morning to you, dear. Geraldine and Neil, good morning to you guys. I, uh, I'm wondering how that new grandchild's doing. Al, good morning to you. Uh, oh, on your deck. All right. I hope it's not hot out there. You know, we don't have a deck here either. Don't have a porch, don't have a deck. I've got a driveway. Does that count? <clears throat> we have sat out in the lawn when the bugs aren't too bad with the dog. I've got... Boy, did I find a new thing. We've got... We've got some gray rubber-made plastic chairs. Um, they're not Adirondack plastic chairs. They're just regular chairs early on when, when all the plastic companies were first making chairs. So they're just kind of <clears throat> straight back long chairs with uh, curved, curved arms, right? And they were all uh, weathered out. You know how, the, how <clears throat> they're, they're dark gray in color? And how plastic, when it's been in the sun, the UV affects it, and it makes it all look all dried out and chalky and everything. And uh, either Bonnie or I, I think it was Bonnie, saw on um, YouTube or somewhere uh, where they were at at a stadium. Like, and it might have been it might have been Green Bay. I don't know. But in order to <clears throat> to restore the the seats in the stadium, um, they'd go around with a heat gun, and and heat up the surface of the plastic and then it would it would it would you, you melt it just just to where it's just starting to 
where you heat it to just where it's starting to melt, and then it and then it the oils that are in the plastic come forth and it reseals the surface. So I did that with our chairs, and they look almost like new. I mean, there's some ground in dirt on them. The one I did without even washing it, and it, it didn't turn out as well, but the other one I took a brush and, and some cleaner, I think I used Murphy's Oil Soap. Probably use that too much. I should probably use something a little stronger, but, uh, and I, and a brush, and I put the Murphy's on straight. I mean, I didn't water it or anything. Straight Murphy's and worked it into the plastic um, on the seat and around the seat and arms and and then I rinsed it down with a hose when it was dry I took the heat gun and I just slowly went over the whole thing and it looks just like new so if you've got if you got plastic patio furniture that's that's fading um, you you can do this with it if you don't want to do it you know I'll do it for an hourly rate at what 150 200 dollars an hour does that sound good Plus shipping. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah, all right, Al. Uh, good morning, Al. Um, yeah. A little bit of a squirrel thing going on here today, I can tell. Glenn, good morning. Glad you're here with us. Uh, Jerry, good morning. Fast moving wind, hail, and heavy rain. Wow. I hope, I hope the hail didn't take out too much stuff. Our tomatoes have managed to survive all of the foul weather that's gone. We, wind is what we've had, mostly. Although we did have some good rain, uh, th a thunder shower here a week, excuse me, a week ago. Hey, Michael and Karen, good morning to you guys. And Jill and John, good morning. Verna, hello, glad you're here with us. Jeannie and Bob, good morning. Hey, look at that. Yeah, you got your in and you're, you're, you're commenting and at least your stuff works. My stuff, meh. <clears throat> I still got issues here. I think some of it is when I don't schedule them, when I don't schedule the the um, live cast far enough out. You know, for two weeks there, I was scheduling them a week at a time. Now it won't let me connect the it won't let me connect the video stream until it actually goes live. I'm supposed to be able to connect it before it goes live so that I know everything's working. And I still don't have my stream. Oh look. It's my beautiful bride with coffee. All right. Thank you, dear. Thank mm -hmm. you. We haven't even gotten into the anything yet. So, uh, Kathy, good morning. There you are on the back porch. All right. And, uh, oops, I, it scrolled on me here. And uh, there's Bonnie. And good morning to her. Well, you just, and... Um, uh, I thought I saw... Yeah, there's Ann. Good morning, Ann. I think you just need to turn the volume up. I think I think that... I mean, you can't hear me because there's no sound. But I wonder if the volume's turned down or if you've got it muted, um, which is not difficult to do. Uh, so Bonnie's telling us, telling me 68, 78% of humidity, chance of mosquitoes. I hope there's no mosquitoes. Um, all right. Let's, uh, I'm going to do a refresh, just make sure I didn't miss anybody. In the meantime, hello to everybody again. The, those, those watching in the background, glad you're here with us. I do appreciate your being here, and uh, I hope you find this edifying. If you, if you uh, do, like, share, comment. Um, all of these are good things. If you're over on <clears throat> YouTube after 11 o'clock this morning watching the recording, um, like, share hit the little subscribe button and comment because that, uh, especially on YouTube, that, that boosts the algorithm and gets this out to, to more people. So, um, so good morning. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, it looks like I got everybody. Um, sometimes what happens is we get halfway through the broadcast, get to the end and, and then Bonnie's telling me, you didn't say hi to so-and-so. Well, I didn't see them. And then I dump coffee down my face because it's hotter than I expected. All right. If you have the Lutheran Service Book, page 295, Daily Prayer for Individuals and Families. We've messed around here enough. Let's get into this. <clears throat> Maybe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
All right, and then uh, our, oh, it's in front of me. Why am I even looking for it? Our, our Psalm today, Psalm 65, verses one through four. Praise is due to you, O God in Zion, and to you shall be vows performed. O you who hear prayer, to you shall come, shall all flesh come. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with goodness of your house, the holiness of your temple. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion. It says, the, the, the study Bible says, uh, says uh, see page 844 for Zion. Zion is the defensive hill. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, is the defensive hill before the Temple Mount, between the Kidron and the Tyropean Valleys. See Book of Maps. It was captured by David from the Jebusites in 2 Samuel 5 in the Psalms, and then it goes dot, 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 so I don't know what it said. <laughs> anyway, Zion, what are the places of God's people? Um, the, the mount <clears throat> upon which God's people are found. And to you shall the things that we have promised our vows be performed, the acts of public worship. You who hear prayer, to you all humanity, all flesh shall come. What's the Thing here, I'll see Psalm 83. When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. You, the penalty of death is sin, and God has atoned or paid for our sin, uh, ransomed us back from sin, death, and hell through the death of uh, <laughs> the the commentary here. The Bible, the Bible uh, study Bible notes says through the death of the messianic king. Oh, just say through the death of Jesus. That'll be enough. Um, the death of the Son of God. We are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forth as a propitiation by His blood to be received by faith. So there, there you have our psalm today. Let's go on to our reading. We're in uh, coming coming close to the end of Romans here. Last paragraph of, of chapter 15 on this day. See, I could goof around a little more because we haven't got as much here today. We just, we've got this little, you know, I, I've got chapter 16 broken into two parts, but we might do it all tomorrow. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Just have to see how, I'm, how I feel. i got to look at it a little closer. But for now, <clears throat> chapter 15, verses 30 to 33. Paul writes, I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God on my behalf, that I may be delivered from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my service for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company. May the God of peace be with you all. Amen. So that this is this take this takes the end of of his letter of uh, what do I want to say blessing rebuke and instruction for the church in Rome uh, because chapter sixteen is all going to be his personal greetings to uh, to the people who are there which is why I may take it all as one chunk and we'd be done with Romans this week and pick up something new. <clears throat> Next week, um, but let's talk about this. I appeal, to, appeal to you, brothers, right? The fellow, fellow, fellow Christians, specifically the fellow Christians in Rome. Um, this is kind of where he began back in, in chapter one, verse one. Let me just see here if I can uh, duplicate. And uh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? That's that's irritating. Why did you do that? Uh, I wanted to, okay, here we go. Romans 1, back at the beginning, right? Uh, and let me just put this up here for you guys. Uh, push that button, see? All right, so here, I, I jump back to verse 1. For, in, in, oh, that's the psalm. 
This is okay. So here, just for fun, Bonnie says, you don't have to show us this. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm doing it anyway. Where's my, oh, I don't want yellow. I want, yeah, green will work. Um, so I appeal, right here, verse 30, we read, I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit. But the, the brothers is the word we're looking at here. So if we go, now I gotta, I gotta get rid of the print so I can go back over here and then turn on the print again. Yeah, uh, Paulus, uh, to all those in Rome who are called to be saints, that's part of it. Uh, well, no, I thought it was, I thought it was, um, mm, oh, here, here it is, here, here it is. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers. I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, okay? So Paul, Paul is, is still referring to, uh, he remains referring to the, to the people of Rome, the Christians in Rome as brothers, right? Because as he said, we're all, we're all one in Christ. It's the unity of Christ that holds us together. Let's get this off the screen. We'll go back to the main camera. And um, so I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, right? which, which, you know, it's the, it's the love of the Spirit that now pours out from the hearts of, of Christians, right? It's the love that we've been shown in Christ that does these things. So, so I appeal to you to strive together with me in your prayers to God on my behalf. Strive together with me. What's the, what's the language behind that? Uh, sin, which is sin, sin. Okay, there's a, there's a, uh, synagzomai. This is a, this is a, this is a kind of a compound word, synagzomai, um, which means contending together, right? Um, that, that S-Y-N, sin, which isn't S-Y-N in the Greek, but that idea like syncope or uh, syncretic or, or um, synchronized, right? That, that working together, that, that combined. <clears throat> and really being of one heart and one mind and one confession and one faith, right? That's what the church is. One heart, one mind, one confession, one Lord, uh, one God, one, one God by whom all things have have come. So to strive, to, to work together with me, to strive together, to struggle together with me um, uh, in your prayers to God on my behalf. You know, Paul is a missionary. He's an apostle. He's a missionary and he's a pastor, right? He's all of these things, right? All these vocations, right? And and vocation isn't just the work you do, but rather the uh, the, 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 the 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, you know, we we so often refer to our work as our vocation, but our vocation we have many vocations, and and they are um, uh, the way in which we carry out the things that God has given us to do, which which can be our work, uh, but it's also you know you've got. Uh, you know, every, every one of you has the vocation of child, right? You were, you, at one time you were born and you were either a son or a daughter. So you have the vocation of child, son or daughter. Um, and in this day and age, maybe I should say it that way, the vocation of son or the vocation of daughter. Um, as you grew, uh, you, you, you got the vocation of student as you went to school. Um, um, and then as you grow further, perhaps you, you, um, enter into a marital relationship and you have the, the vocation of husband and wife and maybe you became an employee so you have the vocation of, of an employee um, uh, to do the things or you know maybe you've elevated in management or something you have the vocation of, of an employer or of a supervisor of a boss right that has specific uh, lines that can be drawn your marital relationship extends and you become have the vocation of mother or father and then god willing one day a vocation of grandparent um, you know and and all, and all of this is the vocation of of a child of god right and so strive together with me in your prayers on my behalf paul is, has these three vocations of 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 apostle missionary and uh, uh, pastor in in uh, like all 
uh, pastors, like all missionaries, like all all the apostles, um, they desire the prayers of God's people, right? To build them up in the spirit. So we strive together, uh, both in 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 our vocations, but also in prayer, um, lifting lifting up. Um, lifting up each other in in holy prayer to God, that, that the ones for whom we pray, we do it here every day, right? That they might have strength and, and, and be renewed and comforted and assured and remain steadfast in, in the face of wickedness throughout the world, remain steadfast uh, in Christ. So I, 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 so I, 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 uh, I appeal to you, I ask, I, I, I almost demand out of love, through Christ and the Spirit that you that you pray on on my behalf, Paul says, and I say it too. Pray on my behalf. Pray for me. I need pray for your pastor. Pray for your pastors in your in your circuit. Pray, pray for the pastors in our synod. We've been praying for our synod as they've been in um, in the synodical convention this week. Now that's that's ended. So we pray for their safe return home at this point. But but you know this continuous calling upon God uh, in Christ Jesus or, or in the Spirit through Christ Jesus um, that that um, His will be done uh, because His will is the good and gracious will. And so He says He says that you, you pray on my behalf that I may be delivered from unbelievers in Judea and that my service for Jerusalem be acceptable to the Lord. Right? Those Jews who who rejected Christ as, as the chosen one, as the anointed one, as the, the Christ, as the Messiah. It's funny because the, the, the study Bible notes say, Jews who rejected Christ as Messiah. Well, the problem with that phrase, rejecting Christ as Messiah, is the words mean the same thing. That's bad writing. Uh, the Jews rejected the God-man Jesus as both Christ and Messiah, because Messiah means anointed one in Hebrew. It's the anglification of the Hebrew, just as Christ is the anglification, the Englishizing of, of Christos or Christ. Um, but they both mean the anointed one. They're, they're, it's the same word. The Jews who rejected Jesus as Jesus. That you know, doesn't make any sense. So that's bad writing. Jews who rejected the God-man Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, sent in flesh in the Incarnation as both Christ and Messiah, and at times violently opposed Paul, right? So, you know, Paul is beaten, he's imprisoned. He, all the things that happened to Paul uh, in his missionary journeys, he's, he's, he's asking that, that uh, by the grace of God, uh, by the working of the Spirit, he would be delivered from those who rejected Christ in the same way, um, uh, not in the same way, that he, he be, re, that he be, uh, that he, he be, uh, blah, 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 blah. English, new language, that he, that he comes safely from them uh, into Rome on his way to Spain to see these guys, that he, he gets away, gets away, gets away from them. Um, um, and that my service, the, 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 you know, and what is the, what is the word here for service? That I may be, deli be, be delivered from the unbelievers in Judea and that my, my service now, uh, my service, I think what we're talking about, well, this is okay. So the word is, is diakonia, um, which is, which is a difficult word. I like this translation better. Because diakonia is often um, uh, translated as ministry, um, which leads into all kinds of confusion with other things. But my service, that's what it is. It's, it's diakonia is the service of love to the neighbor, right? So we get the word diaconate or deaconess or deacon, um, one who serves another, right? It's, it's never, uh, it's never the diakonia, diakonia is never to the benefit of the one doing the work, but to the benefit of those for whom they are working. Um, and so his, his service for, now is it for Jerusalem? It says for Jerusalem, but I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm wondering here. I just flipped flipped into my interlinear so I can see how the Greek plays out here. 
the love of the Spirit, strive with me your prayers to God on my behalf, that I may be delivered to the unbelievers, and that my service, my diakonia, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, not so much in love with that translation. Um, um, uh, why is there a... Um, uh, that's a okay. So that's a particle. Um, yeah, the the word is the the Greek word here. The Greek word for my service for Jerusalem. The Greek word is ice, um, which really is into. Um, ice is really really best translated as into. Um, yeah, so it's sort of a given for. Yeah, I'm not in love with it. Um, so, oh, wait, what happened here? All right. Um, so his, but his service is for those in Jerusalem. Give my his, the, his diakonia done into the into the people of Jerusalem um, for their benefit. Um, uh, I lost my spot. Here we go. <clears throat> so that it may be acceptable to the saints, right? And, and I think he's talking, to a certain degree, I think what he's talking about is not, not just his preaching and teaching, although that's part of it. Um, but it's also the collections that he made in the Macedonian and Achaia regions, that these gifts from them would come and be acceptable to the, to the holy ones in uh, Jerusalem, which is the church in Jerusalem, right? Um, so, so he's he's done this uh, service for Jerusalem, the the collecting of the of the um, this offering, and he brings it into Jerusalem. Uh, and so, the prayers that he's asking for are that he be delivered from the unbelievers in uh, in Judea, and that he, the that the work he has done. That he that he now brings the results of the fruits of into Jerusalem are acceptable to the holy ones, the Church of Jerusalem, right? I mean, you are the saints uh, where you are. You you are a saint in Christ. That's that's the the blessing of of a biblical understanding of the scriptures. We are simultaneously saint and sinner. Uh, so we are the Hagia, the the holy ones. That's the the Greek. Um, we are the holy ones of God um, by baptism and word and so on, uh, by faith, right? right? We've been received into Christ and made holy by his Holy Spirit who sanctifies us. Um, so now we have a result in clause, so that by God's will, I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company, right? So this work being done, having completed the vocation for which I was sent into by the Antioch Church into uh, the regions uh, to the to the east uh, of Macedonia and Achaia and so on, which is where Galatia and Corinth and those places are. Um, Ephesus, I think, is that way. Um, now coming back through Jerusalem, having that that by God's will, uh, by by the holy will of God, by the purposes of God. I may, I, I, I may, now is, is may actually a may? Uh, no. Um, the malos, no, that's just right. That I may, it says I may come to you, and that might be, it might, it's probably the idea of arriving with a future tense, right? So that I will arrive, that, that I will have arrived. Uh, to you, with you, with joy, joy, Kaira, Kara rather, um, Kara, joy. Then there's no way to be glad. But I may come to you with joy, and that it's that joy that surpasses all understanding, with the joy of God, uh, and be refreshed in your company. Um, um, and and th this is a mutual refreshment, right? This is that that that. My being with you and you being with me would give me a renewed strength 
and peace and joy, and, and we both be built up. It's what we do here each morning, right? At least it is my prayer that as we join together each morning, we go through this. I know some days are better than others, just like anything else in the world. But that, that when you come away from our time together in the morning, you may have joy from from the knowledge of Christ and life in Christ and be refreshed uh, by our, our time together. Um, it's it's a refreshment in the word of the Lord. And so so he closes it off with, with may the God of peace be with you all, amen. And, and there's really nothing more to say. May the God of all peace be with you all. Uh, you now it's interesting. Um, I wonder, I wonder how that lays out in the, in the Greek, because the way the ESV translated, may the God of all of peace be with you all, amen. Um, uh, nope, the, or the amens at the end. Um, yeah, six, seven, where's eight? I'm looking at how the, the interlinear lays this out. Because Greek Greek isn't arranged in the same order as English. You you prioritize the things that you're saying um, by ordering them, right? So if if I think the fact that we're having chicken and rice for dinner is important, I would start by, I, I wouldn't say, for dinner we are having chicken and rice. I would say, Chicken and rice are the things that we are having for dinner. So you know by the end of my sentence that dinner is what I'm talking about. The beginning of the sentence is chicken. Um, you know, but but uh, you know, but it might come out something like chicken. We will be having with rice for dinner, right? And so it, it, the word order gets funky. Um, and so I like to look sometimes and make sure that uh, the ESV took the word order the way that the grammar. This is way more than you guys want me to get into, I know, but I'm, I'm doing it for my benefit. Remember, this is my morning devotional time, and I'm, you're just joining in on it. Um, no, I'm happy with that order. The only reason I questioned it was because um, Paul could have just as easily said, now may the, may the God of all peace be with you all, be with you, amen. Um, but he says, that may the God of peace be with you all, amen. It, the all actually is... Um, had, actually has the ones to whom he's writing as the referent, um, not God who is the God of all peace, but rather the, the people, all the people. So all of them, all of the church, regardless of, re, regardless of who they are, may the God of peace be with you all. Pantona, every one of you, every one of you. Amen. It shall be so. Amen. It shall be so. This is true. This is the blessing that we have. I appeal to you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ, by the love of the Spirit, that you strive with me in prayers to God, that the, that the service, that, that I may be delivered from unbelievers, and, and that my service for you may be acceptable to you who are the saints, and so that by God's will we have this time of joy and refreshment uh, together in your company. And so may that God of peace be with you all. Amen. Not quite as intense today, but that was only four verses. All right, let's uh, continue as we uh, go to the Apostles' Creed on this morning. I believe in God, the Father, Almighty Maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now we are bold to pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And for ourselves and others on this 
Friday morning, as I said, O Lord, my Heavenly Father, that you would guide those who are returning home this day from the convention, safe travel, and that the purposes of your will may have been fulfilled and the works of, of the various delegates, lay and, uh, lay and clergy who attended that event, uh, and may all those uh, all that work now go forward to be pleasing to you and in service of the church. Amen. And for ourselves and others, Father God, Lord of fulfillment, thank you for this Friday, the day in which you completed your creation, crowning it with the presence of human beings. Thank you for the joy of the work that was carried out during this entire week and for being able to place what I have been doing all week long in a good light. Help me to put forth my best to complete all that I have set out to do this week. I know that with your help, I can accomplish it. In this day, I can value the life you have given me in all of its aspects, physical, emotional, and spiritual. I can do this because this is the day of man's creation in Christ's death, the death so that we have your pardon and peace. May the joy of knowing that I am created and saved by your, you cause me to live a new life guided by your Holy Spirit. Lord, of this Friday, stay with me so that we can enjoy this day together. You have thought of me, and I also think of you. Help me to do so by your Holy Spirit, and in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be also this day, Lord, with those for whom death draws near, Ron and Bob, and all who have asked for our prayers or call upon your holy name for need of comfort, assurance, or even to be reminded of whose children they are. Especially this day we pray for Pat, Lois, Anne, Brianne, Rose, Bob, Mike, Megan, Tim, Dan, Ezra, Jeremy, Ashley, Holden, Cheryl, Gail, Dawn, and all those, Lord, who suffer under heat at this time, protect your people from the terror of death, but remind them always that in the end your promise is theirs through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end that our doings may be preserved from sin, our lives sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. I pray that you would keep me this day also uh, from every evil, and that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Hey, Julie. Hey, that's great. That's great. Uh, so you guys are watching. So hi, Mary. See you in a little while. Hello, Clark. God's peace be with you, and we will see you back here tomorrow morning, Saturday, for our daily devotions together. God's peace.